my check my check testing one two three testing one two three my check my check My check, my check. Hello, North. How are you today? Starting on time today. Today was chill but annoying. What do you mean by that? Oh, lots of software testing. I know how that feels. <laughs> Unfortunately. We got about a couple minutes here. A little less. Everything seems to be running at peak efficiency. seconds and we'll be getting started seven seconds now And here we go. Hello and welcome to another edition of Wanderer Wednesday where we will be continuing our journey through... I don't know what the name of the world is in Outward, but basically the world of Outward. When we last left off... Let me lower the volume a little bit so I'm not fighting with the music. There we go. Much better. Ow! Ow! Thanks for the... Uh, Sandal slap, uh, bloody karma. Much appreciated as always. <laughs> I'm a little bit loud, aren't I? One second. There we go. And lower this a little bit. There we go. So, as I was saying before, uh, we went back to Chersonese, which is like the starting town, after a long journey through the forest area and through a desert. It feels like a lifetime since we've been back home, or at least it felt that way to me when I got back. But it's good be to be back. Still not kicked out of my lighthouse ever since the events of earlier in the game oh my god we're being raided by millie hey everyone it's been a while <laughs> you uh, raided just in time actually and also let me of course shout out milliard <laughs> hey uh raid shadow legends i'm not so sponsored Hey, username. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let me go ahead and read the my spiel uh, for everyone who just got in. So, we are continuing our adventures in the world of Outward. I had just gone back from a deserted, a desert area in a uh, forest area, and I'm back home in the starting place. 
I'll show you all. I'll show you all in just a bit. In a starting town, we're going to gear up and make our way to a swampy area. Uh, basically, this game's version of a uh, of Louisiana, the Louisiana Bayou. <laughs> Hence the uh, titles in the stream information center. And basically, we're still trying to figure out which faction we want to join. The Bayou is the last faction uh, homeworld, so to speak. So we're going to be stopping by there to see what the Holy Nation is, what they're called. Holy Nation. And we're going to see what they're like. And then from there, I'll make a decision whether to join either the Blue Collective, which is basically this group of the ruling faction that has all these archaic tribal rules which are the reason why I'm homeless right now and why I pretty much squatting in this person's porch or will I join the hero nation which true to its name is a nation full of heroes in the desert but it's uh, kind of falling apart because it's full of so many people that they have slums there and there's a huge class disparity going on there or the uh, Holy Nation, which is a nation of uh, a theocratic state, essentially. First off, though, I'm going to first get myself a drink of water. I'm uh, going to gear up here, and then we'll make our way towards the, towards the north, towards the Holy, Holy Nation. And we'll see what's to be found there. And I'm probably carrying too much junk right now. 90 out of 70. Thank you for the hydrate, Lenar. Let me get that right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sell some of my junk, leave some junk here, and we'll make our way there. For those of you who don't know what the outward is, outward is a is basically it's kind of like uh, take a open world RPG like Skyrim except add a several hundred thousand immersion mods and also survival mods and make the game have like just obnoxious difficulty and that's what Outward is. It is a survival open world RPG that stars you who are homeless. Well, I wasn't originally homeless. Basically, what happened in the beginning was I got shipwrecked. That's my that's literally my ship over there. <laughs> And lost a bunch of goods and the lives of several people. Um, after that occurred, I had a blood price on my head, which basically means that someone in my family tree fucked up and have been paying excessive taxes to this government, city's government for decades since. And I had to come up with some money or I'd be evicted out of my home. After I died several times in game, I ran out of time to pay back these. Uh, payback interest on my lat house and was made homeless. This is considered pretty inhumane by a lot of people, so some of them have left the town to go off on their separate ways. And I've been left to basically my own devices to figure out what to do with my life since then. Uh, since I've pretty much gone all over the place, raided some dungeons, I've made some money, I've got basically had to pick me up and pick myself up through my by my bootstraps, which is what I've done in the time since. It's been the hard, it's been the hard, uh, how hard, maybe 20, 30 hours since I first started this game, but we've gone some places and we're in a much better position now than we were at the start, that's for sure. In fact, I've gone from being homeless and homeless and uh, destitute to having over 800 silvers worth of gold. And that's just in these gold bars. Uh, pretty much season, yeah. I've learned a lot more skills. I just haven't decided yet whether or not I want to learn magic in this game. So, now that I'm in this position of power and prestige, um, I need to pretty much prepare to head what out again. We're going to... It's All funny right. where I'm at the point in the game where most of these weapons and stuff are actually weaker than the things I currently own. Except for the things that I've sold to them, obviously. I want to have this guy uh, forge for me some high, some what better I armor. Do for you? Here's what but unfortunately, I need. I need additional blue sand, which is kind of difficult to find. I'm sure it'll pop up on my travels eventually, so I'm in no great rush. 
Um, I probably do need to carry better gear eventually at some point. All I got right now is the Trader Garb. I've sold a lot of my previous equipment over the past months, and I will need to think about getting a better quality backpack at some point. <laughs> Actually, let me go ahead and check out. There's a little bit of input delay in this game when it's starting to when it's lagging a bit. This lags the worst in towns for the most part. Is there not something you need? Like they don't sell bitter backpacks here, but they do sell um they do sell fur armor. That's actually kinda cute. I kinda want that. But I know I can bet get better equipment out in the wild on my own, left to my own devices. So I don't usually bother, or I can craft my own stuff. How am I looking on gear right now, anyway? Let's see, a bunch of, I've got several arrows, I still got my shiv dagger. The fang axe has served me pretty well. It looks like it's starting to fall apart though, so I'll need to think about preparing that soon. Do I need a machete? Do I even have, I have a bunch of tripwire traps here. I just need things to use it with. I got a bunch of spikes here that I could use it with, so I don't really need the machete. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that. There's a lot of gear that I still off looted off of uh, some bandits previously that I need to get rid of. I'm at the point... I remember when I first started playing this game, and I used to be so bad at fighting bandits. Just get gang-banged by them all the time, but now they're my bitch. That's another thing I like in games like this. These games always start out super hard, but you really feel the progression right. when you start destroying the shit out of people. Uh, what else am I going to sell here? I'm keeping the pressure plate trap for use with these explosives, just in case I ever need that. I got some a bunch of metal pieces here that I can turn into that can turn into arrows. And I know I need this palladium scrap for something, so I need to hold on to that. But I don't remember what it was for. I can check really quick actually. What did I need Palladium for? The Amalite? Amalite boots, yeah. Pad boots and some Amalite, so... I'm probably gonna store that in my giant backpack that I have on the other side over here. <laughs> Millie, I'm gonna give you a head pad in Discord really quick. Mm -hmm. Alright. What time is it in game anyway? It's five in the evening. I might need to I might have to think about going to sleep anyway. In game, I mean. Mm -hmm. So this is the fabled alpha jerky. Need to kill some alphas to make that though. Uh, raw salmon for making more travel rations, but I think I'm pretty good on travel rations right now, aren't I? Let me see here. I could always use more travel rations, what the hell. I don't want to turn these into rations yet either until they start to spoil. Because they serve they will serve a better purpose for me otherwise or as just being sitting here. Bunch of torches. I wanna to keep the desert kopesh until I learn some sword maneuvers, which is probably if if I didn't find it in the other towns, I'm going to assume it's going to be in the Holy Nation, so let's hold on to that as well. So much stuff. I did say I want to forge some more arrows, didn't I? Let's go strip some 
wood off of this tree here. There you go. Actually, I don't know why I dro bothered dropping that. I could just put it in my bag over here. One point three, one hundred thirty silver is one point three pounds as compared to one point eight pounds of gold. To give you an idea of what I'm working with here. Dark Rich Hat. I'll be needing this the next time I go to a desert. I wonder if any of my food and stuff over here is spoiled away in my absence. Uh, they have not, surprisingly. And I have a lot of rations, as you can see here. 30 rations. My pet armor is still here, too. May I should bring that along with me. But I really like having a couch bonus of 8. And I like to kill thing, most things from afar anyway. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. But you can see that it is not made... This is, garment is not made for fighting at all. Can I arrange things by weight? Well, I guess I better put the desert copish away. So we'll be needing that. I can... This is not going to sell for anything. This is so cheaply made. Don't need so much water. Don't have any bread to use this with, so we'll put that away as well. Need that for making potions, probably. Don't need the cold stones where we're going, so I don't even have any mana right now. Uh, I could probably keep the alchemy kit. This one's for restoring health and stamina. Which I'll need a little bit. Can keep these. I actually don't need any of the hot weather stuff right now, so I'm not going to a hot weather place. So we'll put these away for now. Always need those. Don't need any of these fire defense potions right now. This removes most negative effects except disease and burning, etc. We're gonna keep the jeweled meat. I could sell the jeweled meat for a shit ton of money, but I don't need to right now. I instead prefer keeping this around in case I need to run away from somewhere really fast. Don't need that right now. Getting close to clearing out my prospector backpack of stuff I don't necessarily need. Gonna put this away for safekeeping. Gonna put this away for safekeeping as well. And I guess I don't really... Hmm. I'm gonna store my gold away safely here as well. Gonna hold on to that. Gonna hold on to the food as well for my journey. This is so heavy. Nine pounds. And just like that, I free up a lot of space. I don't really need the alchemy kit right now either. Keep that here. 
Or do I? I'm assuming that since it's a marshy area, there's going to be a lot of poison enemies of some kind. So I'll need to keep that in mind when I go out. That's why I have so many antidotes. Boosting this. Really don't need all this salt either, or as much food as I have at the moment. Gonna put that away. The deserts, unsurprisingly, were full of oil. Which could be sold back to the towns for some monies. And... What else we got here? Yeah, it looks like we're good. I got a lot of arrows. Let me just go ahead and equip my axe so I can spend the evening repairing it. Don't really need... Yeah, do I need these boots? Hmm. It's a bit cold here. 9.2 Move to Nomad Backpack Move about half of this to Nomad Backpack Keep those Keep this as an emergency weapon Keep the fur tent I'm Gonna eat these tomorrow Hopefully it doesn't spoil before I get to eat it actually That would suck Not gonna lie Makeshift torch is about to fall apart. So we're going to move that and that down. I don't travel at night all that often anyway. Only got three, seven of these. I don't know why I bothered keeping this one. Just need to move one of these. All right, I think I'm satisfied. Let us go to bed. I love this thing so much. Night night everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, if any of this content interests you guys so far, I would really appreciate a follow, as always. <laughs> Alright. It's five in the morning. Very time as any to go out on a journey. Can we drink some water too? You can already see that I run way faster, right? Indeed I am, indeed it is so. Just need the base essentials for this trip. Some oil, some traps, some food, some more traps. I guess I don't really need the Firestone either. And I got plenty of bandages to patch myself up in case the worst happens. Let's go ahead and consume some food anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right, let's go and get going once more in the, into the wild blue yonder. Well, let's see what this guy is selling first. Greetings, friend. Anything interesting? Some gemstones, luxury tent, a bunch of hide. Yeah. Nah. Adventurer's helm. That looks interesting. Ah, uh, I will never get tired of that sunrise and sunset in this game, let me tell you. So we're over here. We're going to be heading over here this time. Watch us get lost again. <laughs> this game is so lush. I love it. Some bandits. Oh, shit. Well, I just wasted that. Ah, you thought. I mean, I still wasted one of my arrows but i got nine more it's all right it's all good <laughs> so now where was i going again oh yes that way is the banner camp we have to go this direction hmm never seen that plant before Crab ice. Let's see now. Go south and then go east and then go north. But slightly north anyway. <laughs> Let's see what we got in here. So, fishing harpoons, the Fang Great Club, which teaches you how to remake that. Lesson learned, improvised bread roll. Okay. One day I'm going to return to that banning encampment and just kill every last one of them. Which sounds really sociopathic, but you won't believe how many times I got dragged inside that stupid building. <laughs> One too many times, in fact. Conflux Mountain. That's how I know we're on the right track. It's time to eat food.
I never get tired of listening to the soundtrack, let me tell you. Hope I don't get lost again. Seems to be a fairly com uh, common situation in me getting lost. Okay, I see the I see the vigil pylon in the far east, which tells me we are in fact going in the correct direction. be going over here to the hollowed marsh uh, there's two bandits over there I wonder how far away I can snipe them from they're pretty far though I mean I could just let them live and like bygones be guidance wait whoa 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 there is something over there what is that Oh wow, that's not creepy at all. That's a weird looking elk. I wonder if I if it's going to go after the bandits. I would like to see it try, see how difficult it is to fight, or at least get softened up. Let's see if we can bait it into fighting those bandits. That's a fort over there. In before, it's not dangerous at all. Uh, I changed my mind. I'm fairly sure that thing is dangerous. It is a spooky looking motherfucker, aren't you? Wow, this is the first time I've seen it, too. Let's uh, approach it. Okay. Okay, now it's an attack pattern, and now we just need to drive it into the... Okay, it's fairly slow. That's good. Hey, where are the bandits that were here just a moment ago? Ah, here they are. Cool. Hmm. Makes me wonder where his buddy is. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, look behind you. Look behind you. Look behind you. There we go. Oh, for some reason his uh, targeting priority did not change. Despite being slapped by this guy. Oh, he's just mauling the shit out of those people, aren't isn't he? Yeah, he's making sure that one's dead. <laughs> well, at least uh, I don't need to deal with them anymore. And somehow, I've managed to escape having... It looks like his target priority changed entirely, and now he's uh, looking the wrong direction. Let's see if I could snipe him really quick. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Uh, the tab targeting is going to get me killed. Yeah, that, that tab targeting is going to get me killed yet. A note to self, I cannot bait him from that because then he just freaking... Um, okay. Okay. So that doesn't work, but I can trap him behind a rock. That's good to know. Why is uh, it not letting me tab target right now? Strange. 
I could do that at least. I don't know if he just blocked my attack though or what. I mean, I should stop using the. He's got an arrow sticking out of his antler. Fuck, man, you. Holy shit, he packs a punch. Maybe I need better armor for fighting this thing. Barely did any damage to it. I'm going to make a tactical retreat. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Really should be eating food, but I can't right now because I'm being chased and it is not fun. Maybe he can be trapped down here? Oh, maybe this was not such a good idea. Looks like he's still stuck though, so I might be able to... Elemental resistance attribute. What is doing? What's happening to me right now? Chill of frost damage. Oh. Cool. I knew that. I totally knew that. I did not know that. I didn't bring any of the. Actually, I wonder if I could. So, he's just stuck up there. I wonder if he's, like, legit stuck. Funny if true. Oh, that actually worked. Who'd have thought? I wonder if he's, like, legit stuck or what? Let's go ahead and test out my pressure plate trap. Deploy. Alright, I guess I can't use the pressure plate trap. Uh, deploy these then. Uh, put them here. Now put this. I'm going to deploy this one as well. Unless he ran away already. I mean, I know he's right below me because I could see it from here. I'm gonna deploy this one as well. Where are you, big bird? Where'd you go? Or, oh, you're just beneath me, aren't you? This is gonna, not going to end well, is it? Come on, buddy. Come on. Hmm. I thought he was here. That's weird. There it is. Ooh, oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, he's getting close. Okay. Hey, come on. Come up here. Come up here. Come on. You can do it. Maybe not. Okay. I guess he can't fit up here, after all. No ammunition? Come on. 
Oh wait, equip. Hey, whatever works. Whatever works. Uh, this is gonna take a while though. Yep. Nope. Yeah, probably missed. I think it's dead, Jim. Oh my god, is this the Wendigo? I've heard horror stories about this thing, but it's the first time I've ever seen it. So cool. Spooky, too. Oh, predator bones and a small sapphire. Take it all. Alright. On the bright side, I didn't need to use any of my, pi sp any of my traps after all. So good for me, I guess. <laughs> Some fresh eggs. Do, 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 do. Someday I'll return here and make my way towards the Cabal of the Wind Tower. But not today. Right now, we got other stuff to find. That's a lovely first experience fighting Wendigo, though. I wonder if it just happened to spawn, or if it like if the game like level or decide to spawn it in after a certain amount of time passed, or it's because of the gear I have now, or what. Shrouds of forts, and I'm going the wrong direction. Um, hmm. There's an attack dog over there. Yeah, this is the wrong direction. That's towards the fort up north. As opposed to what I was looking at earlier. I need to go opposite direction. more bandits over there too. Did I take a wrong turn at Albuquerque? That is the Hallowed Marsh, right? Hmm. That's weird. Oh, maybe it's that. That's why. I understand now. What's over here? Some more traps and some bullets. I can sell those since I don't have guns right now. Some more of these dead uh, creatures over here. Those are such a pain in the ass to fight. <laughs> Why are 
there's so many? Christ. Alright, we'll go around. Jeez. So many bandits on the way to the Hollowed Marsh. It's not that I can't kill them, I just don't want to run all the way back to Church and East just to sell the stuff I steal off their bodies right now. It would take away time from my main objective at the moment. Let us travel to the Hollowed Marsh. monsoon <laughs> true 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 oh wow this is fairly nice actually Spooky, but nice. I wonder if there are giant mosquitoes here. Oh, so that's what these giant things I saw in the market back in uh, the desert area were. They're marshmallows. What the fuck is that? It's a dinosaur? Hmm. Marshmallow. Wow, you can eat this. Let's try it. Hmm. Oh, that's delicious. That's a weird looking dinosaur. Oh my god. This is, um, hmm. Pilgrim's Road. Spire of Light, City of Monsoon, and City Giants Village. So if we follow the Pilgrim's Road, we should end up at the City of Monsoon. And that is where we are going. So let us follow the path. Preferably before it gets too dark. I love the environments in this game, man. And to think, I installed some expansions, too. The music's great, also. If I recall correctly, there's supposed to be sentient mushrooms in this game as well. They really did, yeah. Hmm. Ooh! Blood shrooms. Need these for making health potions. Aren't these the big mushrooms that make great shields also? I need to see if I can get one for myself. More of the wild local wildlife. What I originally thought was a dinosaur appears to have tentacles sticking out of its face. Good night, Lenarth. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Music just abruptly stops. Okay, um... Hmm. What is this? Interesting. Let us walk around the... That's a... God-ugly-looking dinosaur, that's for sure. 
Let's walk around them slightly. See if we can get to the main city without having to get into a fight. Especially with all the loot I'm carrying right now. Hmm. Rancid water? No thank you. I wonder why the music stopped. So abruptly, too. Continue following this. Follow the wind tower. I should end up. Let's see, that's yeah, the tower of light, spire of light over there. Oh, it's getting dark. That's why. What is... Oh, they follow me around. That's cool. They don't seem to be doing anything bad to me. Can never be too careful, though. I wonder what that is. Is that the city? It's raining too, on top of that. Hmm, <laughs> Iron scrap, and small sapphire. I need to grab me some wood really quick. Oh, the rancid water is poisonous. That's good to know. There does not appear to be any wood that can I can easily harvest, it looks like. And I have reached what appears to be a dead end on the Pilgrim's Road. Or maybe I just went the wrong direction? Curious. Lots of ruins around here, too. A hatchet, darker wood, ice rag, and a bunch of other stuff that I can take and sell. Another iron vein with some thick oil to boot. I must have taken the wrong turn somewhere because I don't see a easy way to get over there from here. Just a lot of ruins. According to this map, abandoned ziggurat, dark ziggurat. Okay, but what's the ziggurat look like? Is it this thing or? Ooh, boy. Uh, is that? No idea what that is, but it does not look friendly. That's for sure. Let's head back to the Pilgrim's Way and make our way uh, forward once again.
More dinosaurs. Another one of those. They glow in the dark too, it looks like. It's kind of cool. Looks like we'll need to pass through the ancient ruins to get to where we need to go after all. And they are currently fighting some bandits or something? <laughs> Food. I'm going to harvest these a little bit. You know, watch for the results of their battle, pitched battle with those bandits really quick before making our way forward. It looks like they've won. The bandits were no match for the dinosaurs. Which leads me to another problem, though. How am I going to get past them myself? I'm kind of tempted to also loot the bodies while I'm here, but I can't carry too much. And I still got a ways to go. Marsh bandits, give me your arrows and your mushroom. Steel shield, huh? And I run out! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, there are two of them. Uh, the other one did not run away like I thought it was. Alright, uh, looks like we'll have to leave the loot. Let's get out of here. Ooh, man, they are not happy. No, 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 they are not happy. Hey, look, another bandit. What the hell is that? Woo! Looks like I lost him. Alright, it's cool. Look like what uh, we got a uh, what do you call those things from Fallout? Death Claw. A death. What the? One of them is explo one of them is exploding into pollen. Looks like a Death Claw and this dinosaur are just double teaming the shit out of the Marsh Bandit. Brace your bets now. Uh, looks like they're both dead. Wow. Huh. They have killed each other. Finders keepers. Take all of your stuff. Your stuff is now mine. A Tuanosaur. This Wex. And a Phytoflora, whatever, a Phytosaur Horn. This is an herbivore? Dang. Alright. We're carrying, definitely carrying too much junk. We'll need to toss some of the heaviest, the worst offenders here in my pocket. That was a terrible idea, actually. I guess I could only carry, I could only bring so much junk with me. If I could just, physical damage. If I could just find, it is getting, it's like pretty late. Maybe I can just camp for the meanwhile or find a stash somewhere. In the meanwhile, I might as well make camp here anyway. It's pretty late. And they're all dead. Just need to gently crawl myself to this tree so I could strip it and make a campfire. Mm. 
Usually when the music changes, that means there's a battle, but I guess not. Okay. Set up my cooking pot. Use the cooking pot to make some bitty. Oh, I'm out of water. That's not good. It's a good thing I can just gather rancid water and cook it, right? <laughs> Didn't bring any salt with me either, though. That's not good. Jeweled meat's about to spoil, actually. Especially in this hot weather. So, the toadstools will actually go bad if I don't cook them. Oh, man. You can't cook, you can't just cook those, huh? Let's toss the food waste then. I was hoping to release some of my weight, but it looks like that's not happening today. Need some food instead. I could just... There we go. Thank you. I knew I could do it. Marshmallow. Anti-poison properties. I do need to get some water. I wonder how far much farther I can go, actually. Restores burnt stamina. I feel like we're not too far. Smokey the Bear may say that only you can start forest fires, but Smokey the Bear has never been in this situation before, I bet. So nice in the evening here. Yeah, then. North, Monsoon City, East, Emrecourt Forest. Um... I don't... I don't think so, buddy. Somehow I don't agree with that. It looks like we're right here. So we can just keep going north. We should make it to Monsoon City fairly soonish. This is the first time I didn't really need torches and anything to see at night because of all these bioluminescent plants and flies and animals.
these nice little totems telling me the correct direction to go as well. Oh shit! Oh oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, that is that um that guy. Yeah. Maybe going to bed really would be in my best interest after all. But at the same time, I don't want to waste this uh, speed up, which is only for another 30 seconds or so. Let's get see as far how far we can go as is, and then we will go to sleep if necessary. Big trees. See the pylon in the north. So I know we're still in going the right direction. It's 22 in the evening. Let's go to bed. It spooked the shit out of me. Oh my god. Not quite as catchy as the Chersonese background music, but... And also, I am thirsty. I went the wrong direction. I might need to go down there after all. There we go. We walk a little bit faster now. If only just a little bit. Gonna drink some tea for a nice morning brew. Does this reduce thirst? It does reduce thirst, just a little bit though. What is this? Ah, it cannot be harvested, unfortunately. Got some bandits over there.
eat a little bit of jerky and continue our threshold northward along the Pilgrim's Way. Wonder what that is. Looks like one of the caravanners' guilds. Where's its hand order, though? Did he die? Greetings, friend. Hi there. Actually, you're exactly the person I need to talk to, because I have some stuff to sell. Hmm. <laughs> what else we got here? Don't really need that. Do you have any guns? No guns? Don't really need any sapphires right now. Sell these two. Alchemical properties. We're making good money. Venture armor. It's funny that I can say that we're making good money. A wonder shelter born of seed which protects against the heat and refills one's, one's thirst and hunger. But can I be picked up back up? That's cool. Hmm. I'll purchase some of these, actually. I'm still overweight, though. Give you some of these crab eyes. Can't sell that. I don't mind selling those so much because I know where to find more. I wonder why I'm still overweight though. Strange. Oh, some of these two. Much better. I'll convert some of these as well into gold. All right, thank you. Now I can continue my journey just fine. So many bandits in the way from here to there, though. Pressure plates. expected that's probably a bandit right there. Let's see how tough he is. Oh shit, you hit me twice? That's cheating.
Oh, man. This guy's a lot stronger than he looks. Like, way stronger than he looks. If I play things right, I might be able to beat him. Emphasis on the might, though. I could just run, but where's the fun in that? Oh, man. Okay. Maybe it is time, good time to get the fuck out. Got you, though. Am I bleeding? I honestly can't tell. I can't believe he just ran straight into that one, actually. New ammunition equipped. Got you. That was exhilarating. Looks like it was worth it, though. Raguta Marais. Give me squash that all down with some bitter tea. Alright, let's continue. Well, would you look at that? Those big lotus flowers. Oh, man. Wait for them to pass. Oh, man. Alright, hopefully they don't notice me. We could just... Cool. Drink clean drinking water? Unexpected. I wonder what used to be here.
And how far are we from... Because there's Vigil Pylon right here, so... The town must be over there then, right? What is that then? A big-ass lotus flower in the distance. A bunch of boats there too. Old windmill, huh? So where am I? <laughs> is that where the city actually is, then? Do I have to, like... Oh my god. Yep. It's uh over there. This is the first time I've ever actually had to like cross a moat to get to the town I need to go to and this is uh, wow this is the biggest town I've seen so far I think very unique looking good to see you I've joined the holy mission and spoken with Alat himself I've become a missionary in his service. He is a lot less formal than I expected. He hasn't forgotten what it's like to be human. Have you given my previous words any thought? If you choose to join us, you should speak with Cardinal Bolamac. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's explore this new town, shall we? Every time I say we found a unique the most unique town ever, we find one that somehow tops it, and this is that. I've seen plant-based towns before, but this is something else for sure. Found a Sorbians. friend. You can buy a giant iron key from him still. What a wonderful place, though. The music kind of makes me think that this is some sort of Asian-inspired area. Watch yourself out in the marsh. Maybe it is. It's never safe out there. A boon of blessing. Well, you need lightning you need to learn magic to be able to use that, which I have not. Player house, huh? Let's see who this Damien Lockwell person is. City Hall. Hmm. 
make it quick. Oh, you're kind of a nasty, aren't you? Is that a check room? Hmm. Swiggity swoop. Make it right then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is different. So it's just a completely separate area, huh? How can I help you? What do you sell here? Bolt varnish? This makes you slower, but you can carry over a hundred stuffs in it. And it's fairly affordable, all things considered, at only 250 silver. I have more than enough for that. actually don't sell that much here compared to some places I'm glad I'd finally buy a trader's backpack though if I so wished it's probably better though if I can just find a place to like drop my stuff Decent lantern. Sell my old lantern, which is kind of garbage. Good for now. Can serve Louis Kerpo as well. Alright, let's do it. And we're gonna put on the backpack now. Where is that? I forgot how to do this. Because you could like pick up the backpack and then sell it. And I don't remember how to do that now. 
Here we go. How can I help you? See a prospect your backpack. And hello, super big backpack, which has the uh, lantern hanging from my bottom side again, as opposed to on top of me, like last time. Does the job though, even if it does make me slightly slower. All in all, that wasn't such a bad trade. Too heavy. There we go. Oh my god. <laughs> I guess this is not gonna work out. The tower shield's way too heavy. <laughs> Oh well. How can I help you? Here's the plan. In Levant. Alright, yes. that's going to take a while though. I need to decide if I'm going to even remain here in the holy mission. A blacksmith? Where? What can I do for you? Want to buy something? Hmm, palladium armor. What can I do for you? It's a big ass weapon. And this stuff is made out of silver? Interesting. Kind of intent on getting blue sand armor and weapons, though. If I could ever collect enough blue sand, which has been a problem so far. Honestly. Hey, Steel. Mm hmm. He, this guy over here sells silver weapons and silver armor, it looks like. Lol's the Vampire Slayer. What if I am the Vampire Steel? What then? Rawr. Rawr.
that Alchemist downstairs then? Where is... Hmm. Oh! Farewell, my friend. Why is this one not on the... Can I help you? What can you teach me? Termit Podge, Savage Stew, Needle Tea. Do I have any? Marshmallow Tartine? That looks fun. Actually. <laughs> what kind of suck you're getting? There's only one kind of suck you're getting, Steel. <laughs> hey, Millie. How you doing? Welcome back. Should I? I'm kind of cagey on using my money to spend on cooking, on recipes, but I probably need to, to be honest. Let's be honest. And I can afford it now. I'm no longer poor. Which is a relief, let me tell you. <laughs> can I help you? I can just hunt for marshmallows myself, to be honest. No need for me to uh, purchase them from you. Bread of the Wild? Is that what I think it is? Is that a reference? It'd be a funny reference if true. I only got 30 silvers left anyway. So it's not like I can... Instead, I think I'll buy all of your salts, my good sir. Or ma'am. All right, now then, what shall we make? I guess I would need to get them a cooking pot out. And it is late, it's seven in the evening. Let's go ahead and go to bed, shall we? And tomorrow I can hopefully look for and discover where the alchemist is. I thirst. Now then, where is the alchemist? Is she not on this floor? Is she down there? I guess there must be the alchemist right there.
some chunk pile. Ooh. I am hungry. What do you need? <laughs> sure is dark in this town, isn't it? Yeah, where is the alchemist? That's a lil. Okay. So that's a lil. So where is the alchemist? Is it up here? Hey, Vim boy. How are you today? Welcome to the stream, as always. Here's Mofat. So it's not over here. I must have missed it again. <laughs> oh, thanks for continuing your sub. Much appreciated. Here it is. Is must... there something you need? I must have just missed him. Ah! Thank you for dehydrate. <laughs> yes, water is unfortunately quite important. <laughs> Novice robe. A mage's poking stick. Pokey Pokey Stick. Aw, thank you for the head pads as well. Um, hmm. <laughs> Are you serious? Alright. If you say so. My pouch is now overweight, thanks. Take off your pants in game until you leave town. It's a good thing it's so dark in here, so I hope you're happy. <laughs> Actually, how much gold do I have left? Did I just spend everything I had on on a food on a, a new bag and food? I might not be able to afford a uh, cook now. Uh, not cook, a trainer. But let's see. Let's see how much a trainer costs. Damn, my legs are great, though. What do we got here? Greetings, friend! What can we learn from you? These require mana. Oh, this prevents you from taking damage. That's cool. Chakram Pierce, Sigil of Fire. And this is for using learning Chakram. No weapons again. Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! I'm also very thirsty right now. Unfortunate. Hey there. 
what do we got here? Your slow metabolism. It takes more time for you to become hungry, thirsty, and sleepy. I kind of need that. I don't have any silvers for it now, but I need that. Grants a discipline boon, which decreases which decreases the, the physical damage of your attacks, which increases the physical damage of your attacks. Using this skill burns a bit of your maximum stamina until the next time you sleep. That's interesting. It looks like I have to talk to this person to become a Jedi Knight. Which is really cool. Brace. Blocks an attack, restoring your stability and giving you the discipline boon. All nearby enemies are knocked back. That's really cool. Alright, so I think I want to talk to learn the skills to become a warrior monk because this is just seem this basically just screams there you're a Jedi. <laughs> It'll take a while to get that I have that money, but it's back in home back in my home in Chersonese. And if I learn magic along the way too, I can also hey I'd also ba still basically become a Jedi Knight. Even though it would cut my stamina and health in half. I could always just get more I could always go to a trainer to get more Greetings, friend. Like a health anyway. Interesting sculpture they got going on here. Honestly. Booba. Let's go talk let's go talk to Alat, who is some sort of demigod figure, I guess. From the way that they talk to from the way they speak about him in this big ass temple. Is this water safe to drink? It will not allow me to drink it. Right as you said, uh, fall, fall off the ledge. Fear is the path to the dark side and so are pants. I can't disagree. All those Sith Lords, they all wore pants. That's one thing they had in common. I mean, look at Luke Skywalker. Was he wearing pants when he started training under Yoda? No, he was wearing shorts. I think? It's been a while. At last, we're at Alat's temple. Wow. Blessings of Elat upon you. Blessings of Elat upon you, traveler. Is there something you need from us? Joining the holy mission of Elat is not a decision to be taken lightly, pilgrim. To join us is to cut all ties, abandon your bloodline, and live the rest of your life for the good of all R.I. <laughs> That's true. Even in the swamp, he was 100% balling out. To serve Elat's Elat. cause is to accept the three tenets of the Endless Path. First, no one should suffer. Give of yourself, seek to ease the pain of others. Second, no one is perfect. Always work to improve yourself in mind and body. Third, no one is safe. To protect R.I., one must have iron discipline. And never forget, the Scourge knows us. 
To pledge to a lot is to be forever marked as an enemy of the Scourge. Well, their hate of you will be boundless. Well, more so than usual. More than usual, at least. Listen well. Hmm. Blessings of Ethel Curious. Interesting. So I guess to become a follower of a lot, all I have to do is to pledge allegiance to it. Interesting. What you need? How can I help you? Yeah, if you are one of these guys, if you join this group, you get this awesome bonus armor, which has candles attached to your shoulder blades. If you favor two-handed maces, you may learn to slow but powerful juggernaut strike. Uh, I can't afford that. And this is what a dead scourge looks like. I can take these occult remains and sell them. Wow, that's kind of freaky. <laughs> so, can I talk to your god also, Elat? Or, I guess I can't unless I join the holy mission. I'm honestly not so sure now who, which uh, faction I should join. So if I join the faction down in the forest, uh, basically the status quo continues as always, and the stupid blood price thing will continue. Um, if I join the holy mission, well, I'm basically going to abandon my entire life and work in service of a god in the service of killing the Scourge Beasts, and if I join the Holy Nation, um, not the Holy Nation, if I join the Hero Nation, I basically live in the deserts, and I guess I'm a hero or something? I don't know what's going on there either. It doesn't seem like any of these options grant me much, personally. It seems to be just based on how I feel as a person, I guess. I think if I join the... Hero Nation... It's pretty much I get to do whatever I like, but at the same time, it's kind of a dick thing to pledge your le for me to pledge my allegiance to that group. Because they have a serious um, social class problem, what with walling people off in the slums, which I don't agree with. At the same time, if I join the join up with the blue collective or whatever down in the forest, they're still going to continue that stupid tribal system they got going on there, which got me into the situation in the first place. Blessings of Ilat upon you. Joining the holy mission of Ilat is not a decision to be taken lightly, Pilgrim. To serve Ilat's cause is to accept the three tenets of the Endless Path. And never forget, the Scourge knows us. And basically this means that I'll be forever hunted by the Scourge, but the Scourge already hates my guts as it is. I still feel like this is probably the best path forward, just because it's either this, or the Hero Nation, honestly. I wonder if there's anything else I need to do before I join the- before I join uh, the Cardinal, Listen to be honest. Well. I kind of want to look this up really quick, actually. See if there's anything I'm going to be missing if I join the 
enjoying a lot right now. I at least know that I want to become what is essentially a Jedi in this game. I hope I'm not spoiling, spoiling myself too much by looking at the wiki. I just need to know what do you have to do to join the holy mission of Balat. Which it doesn't look like. I don't think it really tells me, does it? Uh. To do what to do. One second, chat. Just need to make sure. I see. Okay. So like the other ones, it turns out that when you talk to him, he's not going to accept you immediately. You can still do some quests while you finalize your decision. Blessings. So Joining let's the do that. And never for this is your task. He's going to ask God if I can join, if I could become a Jedi Knight. Listen well. Choices, choices, choices. It's 
go see what's on Damien's mind, since he's constantly worried about something. Go this way to the right. He said he was on the bridge, but he's actually up here. Or he's actually in his chamber. What's up, Damien? Make it quick. Oh, he's using the check room to read. This is a light source. Okay. Oh, winds be damned. You're another stupid pilgrim, aren't you? You listen to me, visitor. You can't trust a lot. Do you know what happens to people who serve him? He puts on... Puts just a little bit of his soul inside you, and it grows and grows until you're not you anymore. What? <laughs> I didn't... This is a, it's a good thing I didn't spoil myself in the wiki. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. that I'm, I'm legitimately surprised. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> like, you would think that in a nation full of, like, Jedi Knights, this guy would be, like, super pro whatever, right? This game is full of magical bullshit and gods and spirits and all kinds of stuff. I'm legitimately surprised. I had to watch as someone I loved drifted further and further away and then left forever. Look at this. Ah, if you bend your knee to Elat, you soon won't have a mind to keep it in. Look. You want to do something to help me? Become a mage. Heed my warning, pilgrim. Do not sell your free will to Elat. You know how to become a mage, right? This is the second nation that's told me to become a mage just to continue the quest line. So it seems like I don't really have much of a choice, do I? It's like, this is the second one that's like, oh, you should become a mage. And the other one in the holy nation is like, oh, you should also become a mage. It's kind of freaky though that, oh, if you join us, you need to become Part God, in order to control, in order to do stuff, and the mayor, the literal mayor of this town, is like, "Yo, don't fall for it." I'm kind of spooked, to be honest. I don't think I want to join the Holy Nation now. <laughs> That's still kind of fucked up. Look, you want to do something to heed my warning? You know how to become a mage, right? I guess I don't really. Yeah, that's kind of, that's still, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> like, I played this whole game so far without becoming a mage or without using magic at all. I've just been using archery and good old fashioned slicing and dicing. And, I mean, normally I do, I like magical stuff in games like this, but I don't know, I guess I broke with tradition this time. At the same time, I would like to become a Jedi, or something like that. So I'm back to square one. I don't know what I want to do with my time in this game. I guess what I could do is uh, get some money, grow stronger, learn some skills, and then eventually decide later on, in order if, if anything, to complete the complete the quest line for this game. Or to complete to complete the game. At this rate, 
I might end up joining the Hero Nation after all. But we'll see. Hmm. In the meanwhile... I left all my money in Chersonese, all of my money, so I'm probably going to go out hunting. Just like real life, yeah. My next plan for right now is I'm going to get some money. I'm going to build up some money so I can buy some more skills from the skill trainers that are over here from the monk trainer. I'm definitely for sure going to purchase going to use one of my breakthrough points finally i'm going to use a breakthrough point to become a warrior monk which is basically a jedi you don't need to join a faction to become a warrior monk but you need money to do that and i'm currently low on money after i spent it all to get this cool backpack that's okay i could always make more money from killing things i'm very good at killing things very good. Mm -hmm. So, I got a lot of room in my pack here. I can just sell most of these things. And as you know, this game is full of dungeons and stuff to explore, so we have plenty of things to do on stream. It's currently 2.38. Let's see how much we can explore before it gets dark. I have another problem, though. I don't think you can buy a house until you've cho joined a faction. Because they're not going to let me back into my home back in Chersony since I failed to pay off Risa. Which kind of annoys the shit out of me. So once more into the breach. Once more we go dive into the unknown. For loot and plunder. I wonder. Still though. If I join the holy mission, I get to have those fancy glowing swords. Eh. To become a monk, I need some money. Yeah, exactly. That's how it is on this bitch of an earth. I also have quite a few quests that need to be done here, to be honest. Acquire, I could acquire mana, go get some beast golem scraps for Ogai de Kezite and Berg, kill a manticore, find a small idol regard belong to the Scarred Lady in the face of the Ancients, give another, give some more money to Pigeon Eye. I want to make a blue sand armor set though, which will take a while. I need to go to Levant also to deliver a ledger. In the meanwhile though, let us go hunting. I'm gonna murder the shit out of some mooks. Actually, I'm at the point in the game now where my weapons are not cutting it. I'll definitely need to either craft or get better gear to get further. Let's go dungeon diving first though for the rest of the stream. That should make a... this creature here should make a nice starter. Okay, slow... Oh, it looks like it's uh, going after something else. Fighting some dinosaurs. If 
Fighting animals in this game is fairly difficult, so we will wait for them to tire the each other out before going in and finishing off whoever is left. Real hunter style. Looks like we're going to be having a clear winner pretty soon. And you're dead too. Haha. <laughs> ah. Stegosaur? Stegosaur is Rex. <laughs> Thank you. Feels good, man. This looks like it used to be a garden. I appreciate how much easier it is to find food in the marsh. Which makes sense, right? Compared to a desert. I probably won't go hungry as easily here. Which is a real, real issue. I do, however, need a tree to cut down so I can make a campfire. Wonder what's inside this abandoned shed. Oh, that's not good. Alright, you know, the glowy flies are actually getting in my way now. This is actually getting kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, I know those sparkles. There's totally a wendigo in here, isn't there? There's definitely a wendigo in here. That's going to be fun. You ugly motherfucker. Huh. Oh, crap. That wasn't so bad, right? Oh, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Whew, that fall hurts. That fall hurt. Fucking Wendigos are creepy as shit, man. Which I guess is the point, but still. On top of that, I'm out of stamina. I can't even use my specials now. Ah. Whew. Oh man. Come on. Come on. Hey, he's still alive up to now? Yeah, I'm out of ammo.
You're stuck on a table. Yeah, it's good. Stay stuck there. Oh, he's not stuck on the table anymore. This is taking a while. That's true. You get kind of tense. <laughs> oh, that's what you're referring to. I think it's dead. I think I think he's dead. It's dead. Sure took a while though. <laughs> Are you now? Great life potion. <laughs> sure you don't. Bastard. Uh, bastard Wendigo. <laughs> Thought it's so hard fishing harpoon in it. Gonna make a spear? That looks good to me. I think we cleared out this dungeon. Aww. Have a safe trip to the hardware store. Whoa. Now that is a sunset, if I do say so myself.
Actually, I can make a bunch of marshmallow jelly if I just looked around. Take me a little while, though. to make some gobberry jam. I just require some gobberries, but I'll need to get some more marshmallows as well. I'm also out of water, which is kind of important. Where else should we visit? Vigil Pylon and the City of Giants Village looks interesting. So we could head there next. It appears to be in the Far East. Or the East, I should say. Not the Far East. Not very far. All things considered. Oh! What the... Bandits, and particularly fast bandits at that. Whew, the fastest bandits I have ever seen. I'm gonna take them out from a distance. This may take a while. Oh, that was close. Almost got me there. Whew. Nice try, asshole. Oh, this guy's almost dead. Unfortunately for you, I can outrun you, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's wrong? You look a little winded. Oh, shit. Targeting system has once again almost got me killed. I am out of stamina. That's not good. That's not good at all. Ow. Ow. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Well, that's one of them. The terror shield's missing. Great. It's just what I needed right now. No terror shield. It's in the bag. Great. Dodge that, you stupid motherfucker.
at you. Son of a bitch. Woo! I'm kind of wondering why he didn't... Oh my god. Looks like we're heading back home for now. Gotta sell all this garbage. Back to Monsoon it is. My bow really needs repair. a fruitful session today honestly He, the flies are still following me up to now. They won't leave me alone. I guess I should be thankful. Wait, this is not the... Hey there! Hey there! Hey there! <laughs> Greetings, friend! Where is the... Ah, uh, I went the wrong direction again. It's down here. Is there something you need?
I wonder if I can transmutate these things back into there. Oh. Can I remove the blue sand from the cold stone? Is there something you need? Give me an alchemist kit, my dude. 60. It didn't cost that much before, did it? Destroyed my ingredients. That sucks. Ah. So I can't rip the blue sand from the cold stone. What oh, this? That doesn't do anything either. Hmm. That was a waste. Is there something you need? How do I get up there again? Do this way. What can I do for you? Oh, I still haven't sold this? I thought I did already. Weird. Yes, please.
counter strike. Hmm. All right, then. Uh, whoa. Almost fell down there for a second. Hmm. It's over here. Those guys have thick ass armor, too. What the hell? Hey Ash, how are you today? Say hi to Pastel too, if you have if uh, hey say hi to Pastel too. You guys hanging out together or something? Also, feel free to drop me a follow if you like. Really appreciate it. Wait, did they respawn already? What the hell? That's funny. Oh, that's just... I'm not fighting both of you guys at the same time. Are you kidding me? Ow, shit. A magic spell? Note to self, don't try to fight that guy in melee after all. Ow. Fuck, that hurts.
Oh wait, three of you now? Fuck me. Oh, it's a dinosaur. Ah. Bastard. Got you at last. Got both of you. Fuck me. That battle. That battle was fun. Not gonna lie, that was actually really fun. Loot the ice witch. Looks like there wasn't that much left to loot, period. After that battle. What's going on with my stats right now? Looks like getting that... I guess getting... That... Skill was worth every penny. Let's keep going. We're heading to the giant city to see what they have at the giant city. Hopefully without being molested too much further. Just dead fight a sword. Hmm. You're in the middle of nowhere. That's not spooky at all. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. That giant is not happy. Hey, leave me alone. I mean you no harm. Now I do, apparently. Oh, boy. Something tells me I was a terrible idea. This big ass range. You and your stupid ass range. Is it a woman? I can't really tell. You're watching me in VR? Nice. I didn't know you could watch Twitch in VR. Now I know. Come on, come on, get closer. Come on. Come on. Try it, try it. I missed. Great. That's just what I needed. I think I'm out of arrows again. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Oh, come on. He's climbing the rock. Where are my arrows? Where are my arrows? Where are my arrows? Oh shit! Almost fell to my- fell, fell, almost fell. In the future, everyone's an anime girl. You mean you aren't one right now?
Oh fuck. Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Rip. I'm dead. That's the first time I died in a while, too. Did I get taken captive by the giants? I guess we'll have to wait and find out, huh? Huh. Well, do you know, God actually saved my life. Except now I don't know where I am. Where's my equipment? There it is. All those arrows wasted for nothing. But at least I have my life. Which is more than can be said for some people. What a beautiful view vista. I have no idea where I am. It's two in the morning, too. Guess there's no real point in going to sleep. At the same time, it's way too dark to try and get down from here. How do I get down from here? I feel like a lot saved my life, but then did a funny and decided, you know what, I'm gonna put you on top of this giant hill that you can't get down from. No, legit, I, I don't know how to get down from here. Is there a, is there a way to... I mean, at least it's safe from all manners of wildlife and anything that could eat me. But I think I'm actually stuck up here. supposed to set me down over there that's why maybe if I just carefully take my way down I won't break my legs okay that wasn't so bad I guess what is that It's really peaceful up here. All right, we safely made it down. Not so bad. I guess I should probably head back to town and sell all the stuff we took off for those ch eh. I want to find a giant city. I love how right as I say that I get chased by yet another... Oh man. It shrugged off a sniper attack. Like it was nothing.
Wait. Is there another enemy around here? I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I'm using all my life potion stings, but what else am I supposed to do in this situation? You knew I was coming, didn't you? Clever girl. I don't have enough stamina to fight back now. Ah, fuck you! Who taught you how to dodge like that? Christ! Bastard. This game can be so unforgiving sometimes, I swear. Looks like I was dragged back to Monsoon. This makes me definitely want to... This makes me really want to get more skills and become a warrior monk. Because... Can't do shit against these things. They're too strong. I guess this is a good time to end too. It's been around three hours or so. We got pretty far in the gameplay, in the game, in spite of our misadventures. Although, misadventure or not, I'm still not closer to deciding which faction I want to join. Wait, I don't want to leave Monsoon, what the fuck? Let's go sell our stuff before we go to sleep for tonight. What could I do for you?
Fit a sorry axe, huh? Looks cool. Thank you everyone for coming to today's edition of Wanderer Wednesday. Once again, if you haven't already, I would really appreciate a follow. Each follow makes things easier for me to stream, honestly, since it's really good for your really good for your algorithm if you have really big numbers, which is all these computers really care about. I hope you all enjoyed yourself. We're gonna go ahead and raid someone before we close for tonight. Let me just look for all I see who's online at the moment. <laughs> ah, I know Jesse, we're going to raid for tonight. Looks like they're also playing some sort of RPG, and no, they're actually playing WWE. My friend, our a VTuber friend of mine, Karma, does this thing where he makes uh, characters based off VTubers and WWE, and runs his own like sort of tournament sort of thing, and then has them fight against each other. It's kind of wild. He even made one of myself and a different VTuber tag team, some others. Needs a little bit more viewership for that, so I aim to give it to him. Let's go ahead and use... Ah, oh, steel. I see, you're in I see you're trying to reclaim your position as number one simp, huh? <laughs> All right. As for our raid message, let's go ahead. I liked using this one personally. I'm gonna use. I'm not gonna use an animated uh, emoji, so y'all can actually use use the emoji. Go ahead and copy these, and then we'll go ahead and get started. We'll go in a few seconds from now. Hey, still, Ash, if you're still there, it's been a while. Sorry, we haven't hung out on uh, stream in a while, in uh, virtual reality for a while. If y'all ever want to uh, hang out together, feel free to let me know. Hey, still is in our uh, VTuber Discord, so you know how to get a hold of me. And I'll see y'all around.
God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, right. Thank you, I trust that so okay. Thank you. Uh, 